Hello everyone, Rurikon here coming at you with another episode of Soul Sacrifice Delta and we're going to be continuing. This time we'll be doing The Memories Remain. Nagosa was gone. I wonder where he is now. After Ilicebra's sacrifice, he absorbed her memories and saw himself detached from all he had been. He told me that there had once lived a man named Magusa. He had possessed the twin gifts of clairvoyance and eternal life. Ilicebra's memories revealed an incredulous past. My partner finished revealing the truth to me, then left. Now, I was on his trail. I had one final thing I wish to share with him. Calling all sorcerers, exterminate these monsters, Harpy. Now, what was the Harpy's weak point? I know that I keep asking this at the start of every single monster, but uh, it is particularly hard for me this time around because I have not been playing Soul Sacrifice for a bit. Uh, those loose hanging folds of the Harpy are no exception. Fat burns. Well, if she's got fat burns, it would make sense that ice... It's either ice or fire, I never know. Well, I guess I'll take both ice and fire and try to figure it out. Very well, let's go ahead and arm ourselves. Um, oh man, I, ha I really like this lightning spear that we got going here. really like this whole setup that we had going. Uh, I used this for one of the lore videos recently and I thought that uh, the video came out. It was the Red Riding Hood. Uh, and I thought that the setup actually worked pretty decently. It's a more melee, more aggressive type setup. I guess we could try to do something like this. Uh, well, we're taking ice. I don't have any ice spears, which kind of sucks. Uh, let's see. We need mines. <clears throat> Where are the mines? Okay, we're going to take some ice mines. And uh, we will take a fire plant, possibly. Yeah, I'd like to do a fire plant. I haven't played with a plant in some time as well. So we'll do fire plant. Uh, let's take... Have to go all the way down. I have a lot of offerings. It's getting really out of control here. So let's see. Where is... Yep, here it is. And now let's take medium fire blanket. Uh, should I keep the... No, we're going to go full ice on this. So... Ice sword? No, I want to use the ice arm, because I haven't used the arm magics all that much, and I feel that that could bring a little bit of variety. The reason why I don't use them is because I'm not a big fan of them, but, like I said, it could bring a little bit more variety into the fold, so there's that. Um, we will definitely be getting this ice giant's arm. You've also got the ice snow tuft. What else do we want to get with ice? What should I get with ice? Should I go for a blitz? Or should I go for an ice rose thorn? Oh, I miss ice rose thorn. Speaking of which, we can actually boost this. And after having boosted that, we should be able to boost this. Make it a two star, which is a lot better. Yeah, we'll take ice rose thorn. So ice and fire is the way we're going to be going this time around. Uh, what can we do? We'll need to switch things. So, we will be getting Heat Surge as well as Frost Surge. There we go. That should get us going. We've got uh, Bomb Magic Amp, Summon Magic Extend, and I've switched the arm. Uh, but the reason why I've switched the arm, in case you guys are curious, is merely aesthetic. Because I was kind of tired of seeing uh, Sword Tiara's arm on the character all the time. So I switched the, the arm just because it looked... Um, just, just for a little variety, basically than anything else. And also it gives you 20 additional health or whatever, so it's pretty decent too. Uh, looks like we got additional int, so we should receive some rewards here. Got some packs. 
I, I always forget to use packs. I never use packs for everything. Fine, we're gonna be using a, a not packs, rumors, whatever. So we're gonna be using a rumor. Uh, what have we got for? Oh, well, we got reward up. Do we want reward up? Enrich humor, boost XP. Let's go for the boost XP S. Now we can only have one of these, so we'll take boost XP S. Looks like we got an M as well. Wait. So can we put this one as well? No, you can only have one enrich humor, it seems. So boost XP, reward up. Oh, what? Come on. Fine, just take boost rewards then. You see, this is the reason why I don't use them. They're so messed up. I can never, like, get them to do exactly what I want. The ultimate black right. To take the life of another in order to pl prolong your own. It is already little more than a memento. A black right influences my partner's body. One that grants him eternal life. Though it was not he who performed the right. Is that a dolphin? Holy crap. Hey, don't you be eating that sorcerer. You nasty little orc. I want to sacrifice him. I will make up my mind, don't worry about it. Let me just grab the soul of this cat. Yeah, you just wait right there. I'll be there in a second. So, we're gonna activate the boss. Isn't she beautiful? And now let's go to Aldade. Eldade even. Hello. My mind was already made up long before I came here. Very well, time to find out. Is it ice? No, it's not. So it's most likely fire. Very well, here you go. Is it fire? Yep. It is fire. Now it's time to punch you in the face. Well, not really the face, but you get the idea. Come on, you filthy beast. Well, I gotta get the hell out of Dodge. Oh, what's this? Let me sacrifice this real fast. God, you're annoying when, all, when you're all the way up there. Seal up. Need to make another fire plant. Camry gets annoying against flying monsters for some reason. Or should I say flying arch fiends? There we go. Yeah, that's it. You eat that plant. I think you're going to enjoy it too. Uh oh. Uh oh. Not looking too good. Oh, she still nabbed me. There it go. Okay. Let's make another plant. Come on, bring that bitch down. Holy crap, damage. She's dealing quite a significant amount of damage, and I'm failing to dodge. Like I said, lack of practice will screw me over. How's your energy looking, RP? Tell me how's your energy looking. You're yellow. You're not too shabby. Let's heal up. We don't have that much more healing. So, I guess it's time to mine up. Is she burning yet? I need her to burn. Thing is, I didn't bring enough fire to really burn her. I didn't really commit to anything. Which I should've. Holy crap. Talk about a ridiculous amount of damage there. Problem is, we don't have enough offerings. So we're screwed. We're dead. Yep. Just like I thought. Saw that one coming. Totally screwed up there because I didn't commit to one of the elements, which I will now, because now I know that she's essentially vulnerable to fire, so it's pretty pointless to bring ice. Well, it's, it's cool to do the combo thing, like the uh, chain achieved or whatever. Sure, save. But, um, yeah, if you can go just the element that they're vulnerable against, you'll do just fine.
which we will be doing this time around. Thing is, I'm not a big fan of any of the fire weapons that I have. It's just I wish I had, like, a fire spear. I need to see if there is a fire spear and where it drops so that I can go and farm it. I probably mentioned this in previous videos, too, but I've just never gotten around to it. So, let's switch this. Do we have a fire giant's arm? Well, we actually have a... I was going to say fully upgraded, but we have a pretty decently upgraded in pitchfork. But I do want to use the fire giant's arm. Uh, looks like we got a possible boost here, so we might as well go for it. There we go. And we'll use that instead. Now, in place of that, uh, do we have decent fire gin's arrows like medium ones? Yep. We'll take medium fire gin's arrows. We will take... Uh, this, 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 and it's looking pretty damn solid. Maybe too solid. Like, I don't think uh, she's going to survive that long. It's going to be like infernal hell achieved instantly. So let's look at them sigils. We got heat surge. Let's switch frost surge to... What's it called? This one, Avalon seal 2. Attack amp plus 25%. She's going to boost our resonances and all that other good stuff. And we should be golden right now. Uh, let's see here, Mage First Class, yep, everything good. Okay, let's see if you're ready for me this time around, Harpy. Very well, we start uh, with the usual cat over there, trying to eat my friend. Ooh, that was a nice dodge, even though it wasn't really intentional, I wanted to actually go for the counter. That's fine. We'll go for a Fate. Get, hopefully, a little bit of a speed boost, there we go. Now let's start the combat just like we did last time. I'm going to skip through this because you guys seen it previously. So get over here, sacrifice. Zoosh. Now time for punishment, baby. Are you ready? Here it comes. First plant. Now that we've gotten that, let's fire that as well. Oh, I forgot that we had done the thing too. So let's get a mortar going. Mines. Now let's do mines all over the place and blast this bitch to smithereens! No, not this time. Holy crap, she is still dealing a significant amount of damage. Aw, oh, damn it, I was about to punch her in the face and be all victorious and stuff. But, no dice. Very well, sacrifice this. Hey, stop poking at me! Damn, those aerial attacks are a pain. Particularly because of the camera movement. Now, let's heal up. Okay, you want some of this? I guess you do. Still prevented me from doing my spell. Fine, you know what? Had it with this. I can't believe I'm getting such trouble from a goddamn harpy. I mean, I've killed hundreds of these by now. Of course, they do scale in difficulty. Let's go for this. Boom! That's right. Have a seat. Matter of fact, have another one. Making a new one. Not even letting the old one go down. Mines. Introduce the mortar as well to the whole equation. Now let's blast her from afar. Hey, come on. Let's have some fun. Now, do we have anything that we can actually sacrifice here? What's this? This is going to renew offerings? Good. I need my offerings renewed. Did we get uh, Infernal Hell? I think we did. Burning Hell, or whatever the hell it's called. Whoa! Hey, congratulations. There it is, Infernal Hell. Transform into a plant? No? Okay. How about you? You will. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, since we got you here, might as well... Go for mortar. I'll sacrifice it. No! Oh, damn it! Every time I step out for a sacrifice, she lunges at me. Filthy harpy. So annoying. Please help me. Nope. 
You almost killed me, are you kidding me? Can't help you. Ariviste SE++. Sorry. Needs to happen. Who am I kidding? I'm not sorry at all. What's this? I thought this would be something that I could drain. Light injuries? Damn near died like twice. Actually, I died once, never mind. So we're level 11 to 35. Yeah, sounds about right. I still want to keep leveling my defenses every now and then. So, what have we got in here? Whoa, 390. Legend, wait for it. Derry. That joke's getting kind of old. I need to stop that. Actually, that joke is so old it friggin' died. Gluttonous Fruit, Noble Woman's Curio, M, Flame Fiend Blood. Summon a Magma Golem able to spew flames? What? That's awesome. I gotta try that out next time I'm on a fire on, um, on an enemy that's weak to fire. Also a new healing seed, healing seed M, which I believe I already have. Didn't I already have healing seed M? I thought I had. <clears throat> Could be wrong. Need to double check. We also have Memories Remain, Chapter 2. The truth had been cruel. There had once lived a man named Magusa. He sacrificed scores of victims in order to remain ever young. Then a nameless sorcerer defeated Magusa, ridding the world of this baneful threat. By all rights, that evil sorcerer Magusa should have died at the hands of this nameless hero. The man who had traveled with me for so long and who said his name was Magusa, just who was he? My partner's face filled with anguish and confusion, as though on the verge of madness. One day, until the end of the world. At the time of this writing, the world was starting to show signs. It was the beginning of the end. And it was linked to the man who had disappeared. You are not far from the truth now. He said that the nameless hero who defeated Magusa used the sacred chalice to revive the victims. The sacrifice he offered up was the body of the fallen Magusa. The world was restored, but the sorcerer went mad, burdened by the curse of Magusa. Magusa's spirit now dwelt within his right arm. The force of Magusa's presence overwhelmed the hero's mind, and he began to believe he was Magusa. The former Magusa had affected his body, granting him eternal life. He came to view his immortality as something that he was born with. Weary of the burden this immortality placed on his body, he went in search of the sacred chalice. And then, he met me. Okay, I did not see that coming. Although it is perfectly reasonable, because... You see, this is this is when you can tell that uh, so the the telltale signs of a good story is when 
It introduces things to you gradually to the point when when it says something that would be mind boggling if it if they were if they would just tell you that at the start. But by the time they tell you, they've shown you how st- things work in a universe that you just kind of read it or listen to it or whatever and you're just like makes sense. See that is the telltale signs of a good story. At least that's the way I feel about it. Now, we've got an a cyclops. Uh again, I don't remember I'm not even sure the cyclops has a weakness. I think he probably does. Renewed zeal and vigor. We'll have maybe he begins his work. Yada yada yada. His flesh. The trident strikes at foes, rides and pays itself. Okay. Uh, we're we're going to go with fire because I want to check out that uh, cool golem. Not a big fan of these. Um, it, it's interesting how in um, in the original Soul Sacrifice, I used a ton of throwable spells. And in this one, I barely even touch them. I don't know why. It just seems like they've balanced things in a way that um, thrown stuff is actually not as powerful. As a matter of fact, it's actually not as desirable even to use. But as I was saying, I want to try out that uh, wickedly cool golem. Is this one? Summon a magma golem able to spew flames. He's got a really weak power, though, and you can only cast it twice. But it's okay. We're going to be taking plenty of firepower. Uh, speaking of which, we have Healing Seed M. Then what did I get that supposedly I didn't have yet? Well, there's actually three Healing Seeds M. Hmm. Very well. Or was it the Regenesis Seed? No, we've... I don't know. Either way, we need to boost this. Actually, can we boost it more than once? No, we can only boost it once. So, boost that. And now we should be able to boost this. Yes. Thank you. That leaves us with a empty spot there that we're able to make up by putting it... Okay, this is going to be the loadout that we're going to be taking. We've also got a new int, so let's see what we've gotten out of this one. Magus Testament M. This is actually pretty good for fusing of, um, oops. Oh, I messed up. I messed up. My bad, my bad. Sorry, guys, I pressed the wrong button there. Let's go Memory Remains, Chapter 2. Go to the monster. Arm yourself. What I wanted to do is just check out the fusing. Um... Ooh, we can do Golden Giant Gold's Arm. Can do Golden all of the, um, all of the Mortar Shots. Can do some pretty nice Golden things, but we can't do everything yet. We can do a bunch of Medium stuff as well. Nothing that I particularly want. When I played the original Sacrifice, I thought that a lot of the spells that I wanted would come from Fusion. But as I've played more and more of this, it's like, it seems that... Most of the stuff I want actually comes from just completing missions, which, to be honest, I prefer it that way. Okay, let's go for it. Looks like we're going to be soloing the, the last couple of missions. The man's memories become ever more confused. When I think back to the day I first met him, little of him remains. I do not wish for eternal life, Magusar would say. An ordinary body, that is all. This is a cool looking scenery. Okay, we've gotten a couple of these guys. Come on, boys. Let's have some fun. Get down, get down. Why don't you give me a little bit of that fate? Lord, you gotta keep No, that that was that would be terrible. Come on. Come on. Oh what? Prick. Fine, don't come. I can never properly judge the reach of the giant arm, which I guess is one of the reasons why I'm not a big fan of it. Let's go for some sacrifice. Let's go for some saving, just to max out our health here. There you go. Boom! 
Boom! How do you like them apples? Does that work for you? I'm gonna go for fate on you. Thank you very much. Well, hello there, Mr. Blacksmith. How are you doing this fine day? Meet my friend, the Golem. He's been dying to meet you. Oh, this is gonna be good. Let's go for another one. Stick a mortar up his ass. Oops. There we go. Right there, switch spells, mines. Oh, we already destroyed the cursed part. He's just like stuck between minions. Here, have another one. I know you like my good buddy the golem. Destroyed all cursed parts. Well, that was fast. Oh, he's upset. He's really upset. As he should be. Let's go for some mortar action here. Nope. Gonna have to do better than that. Here comes the giant fist. Oh, he's upset. Are you gonna start working on that thing now? Nope, not yet. He's just gonna be all upset. Come on, put that thing down and start working on it. I wanna beat your face. I think he's probably going to do it now. <clears throat> we already destroyed all the cursed parts. Whoa. That second attack on this chain is like a bitch slap. Oh, you're going to be going down? Oh, crap. What? I'm dead. Yep. That was, um, yeah. You got cocky. And you're playing solo, and you don't have a lot of second choices there. It's just, I thought it was actually stunned, not really getting ready to do the whole whirlwind thing. And we're back, I switched things around to uh, lightning, because I'll be honest, I've been really enjoying this um, new lightning spear that I've gotten. So, since fire doesn't really seem to be his weak spot anyways, I thought, well, might as well take an element that I... Um, that I seem to be favoring uh, recently, so. Body revitalizes with the power of fate. Let's get rid of all these fools. It just spears just seem so superior to anything else. Just look at that. Look at how, how fast we did quick work of these two. Now, let's get it started in here, shall we? Oops, that's not what I really wanted, but that'll do. Switch for lightning. Oh crap, no! Totally didn't even notice that that was what he was doing, the bastard. Let's heal up. That's the way it's gonna be, huh? Very well. Not this time, my friend. You'll be in lockdown by 10. Go for the mortar. There we go. That's one cursed part destroyed. Let's summon this bad boy up. And zap! Destroy all cursed parts. The thing that I gotta be careful is to not allow myself to get caught off guard like I did last time. As long as we get that under check, should be just fine. It seems that the um, fast movement spells are becoming more and more of a necessity the further we go in terms of difficulty. It's like you can't get hit not even once. Okay, he's burrowing down, which is something that I'm not a big fan of. But I can move super fast. So I got that going for me, which is nice. Come on. Atta boy. I was about to do a uh, wrestling reference and say that I'm like John Cena, you can't see me. But that, I think, would be kind of a bad idea. And again, just saying that you were going to do it, do it anyways, it's pretty pointless. Well, let's just go up in here and smash his face with some mines and all this other mean lightning stuff. Did 
he just did he just scream down my plant? What the hell is up with that? Oh, here it comes. Boom. Let's get some of that fast movement. I don't want to be caught off guard by that thing. There you go, boy. Have another plant. It's on the house. No, don't go on the ground. You fiend. Well, time to look at the mind's eye. Okay. It's like those shell looking things are the is the stuff that I'm gonna be wanting. Damn it, of course. Rammed myself into a friggin' wall. Not this time. Now oh, let's go ahead. Oh, uh, this one doesn't work? I go to the only one that doesn't work. Cool beans. How's your health doing? Wow, you're in the red line, boy. Whoa. Uh-oh. Whew. Almost had that one blow up in my face. Switch to this. Sorry. He almost hit me with that last hit of his, too. Lightning is just so powerful for me right now because that spear. That spear is just beast mode engaged. Hey, that's a neat looking armor you got there apart from the helmet. Helmet looks like it came out of Fallout. Interesting, seems that last hit of his actually hit the bulb. Which is what exploded and made me leap backwards. <clears throat> Don't worry about it. You're not really going to die. I'm just absorbing you into my right arm. You'll be alive. You live through me. Rapid quest. Whee! I like these blue things. Sacrifice Archfiend. Cyclops SE+. So these essentially are upgraded versions of monsters that we've already fought. Which is uh, beginning to be a little bit of a letdown because of the repetition involved in it. And the fact that essentially you've killed most of these monsters previously, so... Legendary! What you're gonna give us here? We got some poison stuff, some food stuff, and a new spell that I've never seen before. The Curse of Talisman! Unleash a potent curse that slowly but surely treks down the enemy. Blacksmith's Eye. Awaken the magic of the Cyclops, conjuring spears from the earth. Smith's Fey Eye. Awaken the magic of the Cyclops and focus it into a fell beam of light. Oh, I know what this one is. Although I'm not a big fan of that particular attack pattern. Because it's an AoE attack pattern and you usually want to be able to focus your firepower on a target. So yeah. From the beginning, he called himself Magusa. He really believed that this was his name. But he was not Magusa. He was a nameless sorcerer condemned to live Magusa's life. Ilicebra had been right all along. Now that I think about it, she had never even referred to him by name. She had been his true partner. She had been his partner long before he came to believe he was Magusa. As my partner related the truth to me, what pained him most was when he spoke of Ilicebra. Yet he had forgotten that she, his true love, even existed. It must have pained her so. This is all my fault. That is how he said it. One day, until the end of the world. Are you shocked? He was not Magusar in the first place. 
He thought that he was misled by the effects of the sacrifice. Who would not lose their mind? Learning such a thing. The nameless sorcerer that had been Illusebra's partner was now mine. However murky his memories might now be. Our encounter, our journey, none of it happened by chance. It was all linked to a history, a bond that traced back to the past. Sortiara, now part of my arm, had inherited every last bit of Illusebra. A fleeting reunion. Long, long ago, two sorcerers took a journey together. Their memories, and the memories of those that they absorbed, have become our own, taking root in the subconscious. Does this make our bond, in part, the bonds of other individuals? altogether. When I finally found my partner, he was in a terrible state. Clearly quite some time had passed since his last sacrifice. Only a sacrifice could save him. I went and sought such a beast. I had something I had to share with my partner. I needed to say what I could not say to Sortiara. She had died before I could tell her how I felt. I would never repeat this mistake. I would refuse to allow my partner to die before I had done this. This I vowed. Mount Helios East's jack-o'-lantern. Well, the jack-o'-lantern uh, is anti... Is uh, Anti-element is frost. That one is pretty simple, but oh my god. The story is just going to weird places at this point. I mean, I, I'm not saying that the story isn't making any sense, because it is. I'm just saying that it's just... It's awesome, is where I'm getting at. And it's just mind-blowing throughout most of the... Throughout most of the ride. Now then, what shall we use? We need a, a weapon, for starters. Oh, actually, let's take the, the beast. The beast arm, the beast maw. Do we have, like, a medium version of it? Yeah, let's take that. Blizzard Wolf Fang. Uh, and then let's take Lightning to break it. I think we have the Golden Lightning Egg, right? No, I guess not. I guess I bought I bought the Poisonous one. Okay. We still have the medium, so we'll take that. Uh, here, we'll take Frost. And then we'll take the Frost Flower, and it's going to be a pretty beastly takedown, I feel. All we need now is the frost bulb. I think we have the medium version of that somewhere. Or maybe not. Or maybe I'm blind. What the hell? Bulbs, 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 bulbs. We need the bulbs. Okay, it's gotten to a point where I just have so much stuff that I don't know where stuff is, so. There it is. Oh wow, actually the one I have is pretty weak sauce. That'll do though. <clears throat> That'll do the trick. Switch the sigils for some ice. Frost surge. Boom. Amp attacks, all that other good stuff. And let's get to it. I looked for a sacrifice. I had to save my partner's life. 
Memories of our journey, of the time we'd spent together, flash through my mind. I understand now why I've always felt so close to Magusar, why it felt like we already knew each other. I am being influenced by Ilisibra's memories, her replica dwells within my right arm after all. The other's memories toyed with me, one of my own thoughts, my own volition. The truth is... <clears throat> Caradom dying. My, my. Can't allow that now, can we? Actually, we can. But first... Don't you be sacrificing my little friend there. I know, don't worry about it. I got your back right up until I start engaging on the monster, then you're kind of on your own. So we'll take the dying spider. Should probably have another dying spider here that we can sacrifice. Now let's go... Oh, what the hell? What the hell is this? Oh, lava actually hurts, it seems. Sets my ass on fire. Very well. In that case, I guess we gotta run through here. Because we need to get to the beast so that I can sacrifice that dude. Where the hell is the boss? Come on. I'm dead. Not yet, but you will be. Don't worry, Jack O' Lantern, I got something for you. I'll be with you in a second. Crap, the lava's flowing. Corpse is there. Nice little speed boost. And here it goes. Boom! And let's do another one with this. Absorb that. Perfect. Oh, wow. He just totally ran me over, the bastard. Oh, what's that? You're on the floor? Oh, this is going to be cool. Check it. Ah, oh, what the hell? A friggin' spider? Come on. Filthy friggin' spiders. Okay. And here comes the attack that uh, is going to be the most dangerous thing that I'm going to have to deal with during this fight. So let's cancel out of that spell. Let's get ourselves another plan for cover here. And let's get some mortar shots on it as well. Or maybe just explode that and get killed. Sacrifice for offerings. Let's get a mortar up in here. And then we'll do another flower. When he's about to come over. There we go. Oops, messed that one up. Come on. Give me a flower in here. Yep, we got a flower. Sacrifice for the offerings. Do we have anything else we can sacrifice? Nope, we were about to. And... Oh, you bastard. Okay, let's switch to support. Switch. Heal. Time for me to freeze your ass. You ready to get frosty? What? I never saw him do that. He made a shield. That's impressive. They're still gonna get frosty with me. I'm gonna turn this jack-o'-lantern into a Jack Frost. There we go, that's what we're looking for. And bazoosh! Love that. Now, of course, we're not going to be able to do that combo again. Because it take, it becomes harder to achieve, like, full frozen on an enemy. But still, it's pretty cool. Oh, how come I didn't get the sac- Oh, there we go. I need some sacrifices up in here. Whoa, that's pretty dangerous, dude. 
That is pretty darn dangerous. Time for you to get mine happy. Is he the one actually spawning those spiders? He's like shooting missiles at me. Uh oh, something's coming out. More missiles. Let's go ahead, sacrifice. We need more offerings. Need them offerings. See if we can get a little bit more frosting on the cake here. Come on. Look at that. Two frosted spiders. Boom! Because the hell. Oh crap, almost got. Damn it, I can't believe it. You lucky bastard. Oops. So I mistakenly sacrificed the ally there. My bad. However... Oh, looks like it still works. Looks like it actually waits until the monster is ready to take the beating. Maybe I was just fast enough to get there. Archfiend Elemental Vulnerability, baby! Where are you going? Where are you running, Jack Lantern? Got something for you. Right there. Ooh, you nasty! Are you ready to get frosty? Come on! There's some more of this. Okay, looks like I'm burning. Need to switch this for some quick movement. And let's go ahead and sacrifice this. Move away. Heal up. Looks like I got a couple of sacrifices that we can do here. Get that. Where's the next one? There's another one in there. Yep. Here it comes. Damn it. I was kind of expecting it to cod in that one. It kind of sucks how the scenery is just burning all over the place in here, too. Let's get some more quick movement. There's the jack lantern. Hey, Jack. Let's have some fun. Mortar time, baby. I would give you a mortar time, but... Chain attack? I don't know how I got a chain attack off of that. I guess some of the monsters were burning? From the lava? There it is. Hey, I guess I should be able to keep my offerings renewed all the time, so I'll just run around. Keep making plants. How about some mines, too? Let's go for it. Boom! Destroyed Cursed Part, baby. Wait, I got more. I have another one. And... It's gonna go boom? Not yet. Okay, in that case, we're gonna turn it into a mortar. Perfect. Here he comes. And I screwed it up. Or did I? I don't know, but I want this thing. Sacrifice it. There we go. Oh, he's upset. He is upset. He did not like that. He's making his shield. Very well. Crap, I dodged right into the damn shield charge thing. Which is annoying to say the least. Let's heal up. Is he gonna charge? Yes, he is. Oh, he's gonna shoot stuff is actually fine, because I can just go up behind him, frostbolt, and mortar, 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 mortar. Crap, I wasn't looking at the friggin' heat-seeking missiles. I mean, what is this? Modern warfare? Heat-seeking missiles and shit? Oh, complete insanity. 
Okay, uh, how am I gonna take care of this dude? Let's actually go for a weapon. I need to kill this thing because I need to get some sacrifices done. Here he comes. Ooh, we no longer have fast movement. Damn it, that's not what I want. I want this one. Targeting system, why are you screwing with me? Here come the missiles. There's the bulb. I'm going to sacrifice some more. Sacrifice for the greater good. Here he comes. There's the charge. And another one, straight up. I think that for this version of Jack Lantern, you should go with a shield, actually, considering how often he charges. I mean, you would be able to get some pretty sweet staggers off of a shield. Damn the damage on these missiles, too. Wow, he's being annoying. Here you go. Get frozen! Or not. Oof, get the hell away from that. Sacrifice this, get some more offerings. Yeah, this is actually turning out to be quite the fight against the friggin' jack-o'-lantern. I, I would not have expected that. Not to mention the constant onslaught of enemies. Which is good in a way, because it keeps, keeps me fed in terms of sacrifices. I like how he shoots missiles backwards. Damn it, he actually got me with that. I was hoping he wouldn't have. I need to get more ice on him, because he's just not freezing. There's the shield. There's the shield charge. I have no idea what kind of a dodge was that, but it looked pretty Hollywood. <laughs> Character just like jumping forward. No! Almost in slow motion and everything. Here he comes. Another charge. Dodge out of that. Good God, why won't you get frozen? Well, he actually hit me with that haphazard charge. Come on. Crap. Don't charge me now. I'm not ready for it. Is he red? Yeah, he's in the red. Damn it, I'm stuck on this filthy spider. Get out of my way. Okay, we need to get... We need to get some distance. That's what we need. Where's he going? At least the spiders are burning in hell. Where's the boss? Maybe I've gained too much distance. That's fine, we'll get some sacrifices in the work. Should keep us fed in terms of offerings. Sacrifice! Sacrifice! And now, we have to go find Mr. Jack. Mr. Jack! Where have you been? Uh-oh. There we go, that's what I was looking for. Will I be able to conjure up a mortar this time around? Yes, I will. Let's get some freezing on the floor as well, just in case he comes close enough. Oh crap, I... <laughs> I was paying attention to something else and I was like, what the hell? There's like this big flaming fireball all over my face. No! Boom. Come on, explode. Explode right in his face! Do it! Do it now! Boom! 
Holy crap, that was challenging. Good night, Mr. Jack-o'-lantern. And that is pretty much going to be it for this video. As per usual, leave me your comments, feedback, all that kinds of good stuff in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Stick around, I'm going to let the rest of the, um, the chapter play out. my aged partner to where the dying monster lay. Although he was fading in and out of consciousness, I forced him to share in the sacrifice. When he came to, he said, Leave me alone. I no longer know who I am. The life I have led. Who did it belong to? Magusa? The nameless sorcerer who slayed him? Or did it belong to another? I no longer remember my real name. It was a cry for help. But I answered. So what? I had to say it. Words I could not tell Sortiara. And so, I faced my beloved partner and screamed. I don't know. I don't know if you're Magusar and I don't care. If you want to know who you are, then I'll tell you. You're my partner. You're my companion. Not the memories of the nameless sorcerer, or of Illacebra, or her offspring. I would have strayed from the path of a humble sorcerer. The time we spent together. Those memories only belong to you and I. The silence continued, and then I heard him mutter something. Thank you. I spilled my emotions to him. And then it began. Without warning, he burst into hysterical laughter. Fate had made fools of us both. That was all there was to be said. It was he who saw it. A curious white shining goblet. One day, until the end of the world. Thoughts were shared, and our author spoke freely. Their kindred spirits had never lingered so close. 
What strange and cruel fate that this should trigger the end of this very world. Come <laughs> on. 